What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a Midwest family. We're doing another project today. So we got a nice shelf here. Nice wooden shelf. It kind of looks like it's made out of cedar. I think the wife's grandfather made. And he has since passed away. Uh, but the hanging devices are route or recessed, routered in. And the one side is broken off, and I don't know if you can see that, but the this flap here is about to bust off. So we picked up some sawtooth hangers, and we're gonna get those mounted on the back here, and get this hung up in the basement. So we uh, picked these up at the store. I think there was a, it's a six pack. It was like. I think a dollar fifty or something and I'm gonna use some screws because I think screws are better than these little nails that it came with um, so let me get one out here I think these will work so we're gonna be going into the wood so it should be all right uh, we gonna pre-drill the holes I got some drill bits here that we'll use to pre-drill the holes. And I'm just gonna get these mounted right above where the old stuff was. And we should be good. All right, so we'll open this box here. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna make a mess. Yep. So the idea is to put this kind of right, right about there. So it was a flat, you know, it would, uh, these sawtooth deals, they, they stick up a little bit. So I got an idea to address that, but we're gonna just kind of center that center, uh, that center sawtooth right where the original hook would be. And we're gonna mark that with a pencil, drill the holes, and see what happens. So, kinda get that right in the center there. Looks pretty close. Your two little dots. We'll do that on the other side. All right, we got a screw. One, try to find a really small drill bit. That should be sufficient but I'm gonna go with the 16th see if I can't break it perfect so on those small drill bits you just want to go in a little bit and come back out so you you can clean the burrs out my screws are a little bit too big for the hole. I was afraid of that. I guess we'll try to drill them out. Not quite there yet. That should work. That'll work. All right. So I ended up drilling out these holes. 
And we drilled them out to a eighth inch. Daddy, we need to, to pick some wood. You need to split some wood? Uh-huh. Yeah, we do. But, so we'll, uh, but when? I don't know. Use a hand screwdriver so we don't over tighten it. We're talking to YouTube, all our friends in the World Wide Web. Oh. And we're Telling them what we're doing to fix this. Yes. Yep. Careful. Oh. I will pick up that one. All right. So, one down, one to go. Alright, so we got those both on. We used a eighth inch drill bit to drill out the holes on the uh, sawtooth hanger so the screws would fit. These are number six by five eighths sheet metal screws. Uh, they, they're just a little bit recessed underneath this lip so this lip protrudes out and I got an idea to help uh, help that a little bit on the wall but she's uh, ready to go ready to get hung up in the basement we'll get this stuff cleaned up put away and we'll meet you inside stick with us good good yep good we'll see you inside stick with us all right guys so we're in the basement we got the uh, shelf here. We have the approximate location that we want it on the wall here. Um, previously marked out by the wife. So that's where we're going to aim for it. Uh, I highly doubt there's a stud right here and right there. So we're going to use a wire nail. What's run that in nail? first. I'll what? show you. Oh. Uh, do that, run that in first. See if there's uh -huh. a stud there. Hopefully there is, most likely there's not, but we'll go to the next step after that. So let's get going. All right, so first we're gonna mark out where the center of these little hooks are. Whoa. And we'll mark that on the wall. And we'll uh, measure this out, mark it, and we'll be back, stick with us. Doing great, Dad. <laughs> so we got the basement full of right here. See? We got a small basement. Funny, Dad? It was super funny. Oh, I need to check out the video. Nothing. Uh oh, Dad, it turned off. So, as expected, there's no studs in those two spots. So, we're going to use these uh, screws here. I've used them before and they're pretty easy. So they just kind of screw in the wall. You got a Phillips on the saw on the one end and they just kind of screw in there. I so sure we'll me, put that in that hole there. Get it started. C can I put it in a hole? And just use the Phillips screwdriver. So do I put it in this hole? Hala. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Just like such. So since we put the metal clips on here, I'm gonna put these slider felt pads on the corner. There's a sticky back, you just peel the back paper off. And stick it on the bottom. Okay, now we gotta, we need this too. We'll do that on both sides. So in this straight wall because these are three. And now to hang it up. Now to hang it up. I know it's not going to do that good. Voila. And there it is. So you can see there's a gap back here between the wall and the felt pads will kind of help keep that off the wall down here. But I think that'll work beautifully. All right, so I got a, these are the deco screws. They work pretty good. You just screw them in the drywall. They're not that hard. Um, but I got this little oh, tub here all with all my stuff I use for like hanging pictures and stuff. It works out pretty well to keep everything together. And now we will get this stuff put away and do something else. But... Thanks for watching. Hope you stick around. Hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.